Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And still continuing reviewing the Toy Story films uh, up until Toy Story 4, which comes out this Friday. And yesterday I reviewed the first Toy Story, and this review is going to be on the sequel, Toy Story 2, which came out in 1999, four years after the first film. And the film came out uh, on th around Thanksgiving in November, and it was a big hit at the box office. It had successful box office numbers. It had a budget of $90 million, and it made uh, $497 million at the box office. And the film is considered uh, by critics to be one of the few sequels films superior to the original, and it's on the list of the greatest animated films ever made. And I fully agree with that. Toy Story 2, I love just as much as the first film. It's as good as uh, the first film. And uh, basically, uh, the movie, well, the movie stars uh, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Don Rickles, Wallace Shawn, John Ratzenberger, Jim Barney, Annie Potts, uh, John Morris and Laurie Metcalf, they all reprise uh, their roles from the first film. And we get uh, John Cusack, Jody Benson, Kelsey Grammer, Estelle Harris, and Wayne Knight, who voice uh, the new characters uh, that we get introduced to in this film. And basically what the movie's about is it takes place after the first film. If you remember at the end of the first film... Uh, Andy and the toys, uh, his mom and, you know, the baby sister, they move to a new house. And as the film uh, starts, you know, they're in the new house. And uh, Andy's mom uh, is getting rid of some of Andy's toys that she ends up selling at a yard sale. And... Uh, there's a uh, toy that Woody knows. Woody's voice, of course, by Tom Hanks. There's a toy Woody knows named Wheezy, who is like this penguin. And Andy's mom ends up taking uh, Wheezy off the shelf and you know, selling it at the, uh, the yard sale. So Woody has to save uh, Wheezy. And when that happens, Woody uh, accidentally uh, gets caught up in this yard sale. And he gets stolen by this toy collector named Al McWiggin, who is voiced by Wayne Knight, of course, who you all know as Newman from Seinfeld. And uh, he gets stolen by him, and uh, Al owns uh, this uh, toy store named Al's Toy Barn, which uh, in the first film, if you remember the scene where Buzz Lightyear uh, watches uh, the commercial of himself, uh, when they, when he was in uh, Sid's house with Woody, it was on the TV, and it mentioned Al's Toy Barn. So we get that Al's Toy Barn uh, here in this film. And basically when uh, Woody gets taken to uh, Al's apartment, he meets uh, the characters of uh, Jesse, who is voiced by Joan Cusack, who is uh, this cowgirl. Uh, Bullseye, who is the horse, and Stinky Pete, the prospector, who is voiced by Kelsey Grammer, who later on becomes the villain of the film. And what Woody doesn't know is that him and uh, those guys were part of a 50s uh, children's show called Woody's Roundup. And basically that's why Al had all the, uh, the toys and the memorabilia from uh, the Woody's Roundup. And basically, it's up to Buzz and the toys to rescue Woody because uh, Woody, Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector, they're going to go into uh, this museum that's in uh, Japan and Tokyo because they're very famous because of that Woody's Roundup uh, show that uh, is in the film. And basically, uh, that's what the whole plot to uh, the film is about. But what I did not know about this sequel 
until I read up on Wikipedia because I never even knew this. But originally, this film was supposed to be a direct-to-video sequel. But Disney uh, scrapped that, and I'm glad that it wasn't a direct-to-video. I'm glad that the film wasn't direct-to-video because uh, the film had a troubled production and controversy was surrounding it. Uh, there was a uh, co-producer uh, that worked on the film uh, by the name of Karen Jackson. And this is off of uh, Wikipedia. This is something that uh, she said while I guess the film was uh, in this uh, troubled production. And she says, I quote, when we went from a direct-to-video to a feature film, we had limited time in which to finish that feature film. The pressure really amped up. Forget seeing your family, forget doing anything. Once we made that decision, which uh, says on the schedule, it was like, okay, you have a release date. You're going to make that release date. You're going to make these screenings. End quote. So uh, the film uh, was worked on and it was demanded in June 1997. So this, this was uh, going back to 1997 when they were trying to uh, complete uh, the film. But a year later, in 98, one of the animators who uh, were working on the film were clearing some files. And uh, the folder for the Toy Story 2 assets got deleted on Pixar's uh, servers. And so because of that, they had to redo the whole film over. And yeah, basically it, it had a troubled production. Which that I did not know. And I'm glad that it didn't, I'm glad that it wasn't a direct-to-video sequel. I'm glad it got a uh, release date in the theaters. But uh, this uh, film came out after A Bug's Life, uh, which came out the previous year in 1998. Which A Bug's Life to me, I haven't seen uh, the film in a while. I think ever since I was a kid. But I remember really enjoying A Bug's Life. That's one of the many... Pixar films like you never hear anybody talk about. Like A Bug's Life is very underrated, and I gotta I gotta watch uh, gotta rewatch that film again. It's been years since I've seen A Bug's Life. Hopefully, get a chance uh, to pick it up on Blu-ray. But yeah, so Toy Story Two. I love the film as much as the first film. It's as good as uh, the first film. And what more can I say about uh, Toy Story 2? And this uh, DVD, of course, uh, this is the two-pack, which comes with uh, the first film and the second film, does have uh, you know, features. It only has two features for Toy Story and uh, the features there. For Toy Story 2, it has three uh, features. It includes the Academy Award-nominated uh, short uh, by Pixar Luxo Jr., with the, uh, with the lamps, uh, which I thought was uh, really cool. I really liked uh, that little short. It has the outtakes, which uh, you see at the end of the film. Like, I remember there was an option on uh, the DVD here, is you could watch the outtakes as a feature, or you could put it as, uh, you know, during the end credits, because I remember when I originally got this, it just had, like, the... Uh, the end credits without the uh, the outtakes. So, but yeah, the outtakes come as a feature, and the outtakes are very hilarious. And it also has a sneak peek at Monsters, Inc., uh, which came out in 2001, and it's been a while since I've seen Monsters, Inc., which I remember I really, uh, really enjoyed uh, Monsters, Inc. I haven't seen Monsters University yet. But those are the features that come on the uh, Toy Story 2 uh, DVD here. If you have uh, this two-pack. But uh, yeah, Toy Story 2, like I said, as good as uh, the first film. Love it as much as the uh, the first film. And you also have, uh, you also get introduced to Buzz Lightyear's, uh, I forgot to mention, you, get, you also get to uh, 
you know, meet Buzz Lightyear's, uh, you know, enemy, who he talked about in the first film called uh, Zerg, which Zerg appears, of course, in uh, the film, who is Buzz Lightyear's uh, arch enemy. So, so, yeah, that's Toy Story 2. Great film, as good as the first movie. Yeah, and then, and then the, there's also, uh, like, the Wheezy character I forgot to mention. Uh, he only appears uh, in this film because there's uh, there's mentions of uh, where he went in Toy Story 3. Same with uh, Bo Peep, who was voiced by Annie Potts. This is the last, uh, Toy Story 2 was the last we saw of Bo Peep, who was also in the, uh, the first Toy Story. Because uh, she gets referenced uh, in Toy Story 3 on where she went. Yeah, so that's all I got to say about Toy Story 2. But anyways, that's it for my review of Toy Story 2. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. And uh, definitely uh, give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And the next uh, movie review will be on Toy Story 3. And then uh, after that, maybe a SmackDown review. Uh, who knows what I'll do. And then after that, Toy Story 4. So, yeah, so until the next video, I'll see you all later.